So YouTube, I'm back. I got nothing started, nothing done. I had to visit the facility again. Um, but look at this dark, dark, nasty cloud. I'm not even sure if you can see it now. It's not letting me see what you're seeing. Yeah, I think I can see it. I tilt your back. These dark, nasty clouds coming. Yeah. There is my timer for what's getting ready to happen to me. It was worse looking. Maybe I don't have your angle right. Ugh. There we go. Those black clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, of course, I'm thirsty after eating. I have nothing to drink. I went for a 7-Up. And that wasn't going to work. I needed another can for this seat station. Because when I got to rest, I got to rest. And guess where I lost my bottle? On the other side of the fence. In the knee grass. So, so much for wedging it right here. I wedged it between the ashtray and the soda pop can like that was going to work. <laughs> I must have been dreaming. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. I can see the can. Okay. So... We're reusing last night's water bottle. I tested it, made sure it was a recent water bottle. I'm trying to keep that table cleared off, except for things that I can use to drink out of if I need to. Or pee or get rid of other trash. This was supposed to be a 7 Up. However, 7 Up was buried in the cooler, so I get to have Dr. Pepper because that's what's available. I wasn't digging, huh? <laughs> That's the bad thing. You need a separate cooler for drinks. One for food, one for drinks. Of course, the ice expense is like astronomical. I've got to figure out some way of keeping things colder on the porch. More like a, um, how you have like a creek refrigerator? The old, the old ice house over the creek type of deal. Only I think when the sofa I was up against the wall and I had those three stacks of water and soda and water. I think it was keeping a cooler effect up there on the porch in the shade mm -hmm. with my big shade cloth and the tent there. But as I have been moving things around, it's no longer providing that. And things are getting warmer and the ice in the cooler is not staying as nice and cold as the sodas were in between the water in the first place all by themselves <clears throat> they had a greater greater cooling barrier and it must have been the liquids must have been providing that and you've attracted a sweat bee at least that's what we used to call them when we were in the swimming pool and they used to get on us back when I was about nine years old I think somebody's working we're headed this way That's the metal blowing off of something. Hopefully not the roof of the barn. <laughs> Hopefully, I say. You never know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm looking for a place to put my soda to keep it cold. And relatively clean. <clears throat> and there's some clay pots here. That one's full of ants. Don't want to use that for soda. I kind of just sucked. I can't get started yet, guys. It's just not working out. I need more sit-down break time. Your battery's going to die. Ugh, y'all are short-lived. I'm short-lived. You're short-lived. Well, I'll just give you another view and we'll try to talk for a little while. Gosh, I should show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that. 
up there but it doesn't show you that up there because look at the camera at some cockeyed angle <laughs> there we go <laughs> you can see maybe what I'm looking at maybe maybe baby and still you can't uh, uh, uh. Yeah, boy. You can see it. I'm looking at So that. Uh. That's what I'm looking at. It's pretty. Oops, it's changing the focus on y'all. Sorry. I was wiping the viewfinder screen and, um,. Apparently that little box, <laughs> I was knocking the little box every which way. So it probably was like automatic scene, whatever, doing its thing. Because I was probably changing its focus a whole bunch of times. It is what it is. <laughs> you get what you get off grid, man. Inexperienced with this camera still after all this time I've had it. I've had it, I don't know, maybe a year or two now. Not sure. Not sure without going back to Chattanooga and looking at my computer. Seems a world away. Ooh, I don't feel like I live there anymore at all. That's such a wonderful feeling. Oh my god, the stress release is 100% almost. Except for the fear that my things are there and I've got to get them out of there. And I don't have anywhere to bring them. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Where am I going to bring a bunch of electronic equipment? 